Good afternoon. <laughs> There's no product in my hair. <laughs> I took a shower after my bike ride yesterday because um, every part of me was wet. <laughs> um, yeah, having to come back against a 23 kilometer hour wind, most of the time I was heading due south. Or, or most of the time I was heading southwest. And so I was hitting a direct wind from this direction. So my core got a really bad workout because it's trying to keep the bike stable and me. <laughs> and so I have a little bit of ickiness <laughs> around that area. Plus my legs are absolutely just, have for most of the day, been absolutely tore up because when you're a human body and you are fighting 23 km hour wind and going that way, when you're fighting a headwind that's 23 kilometers an hour and you're moving at 15 to 18 kilometers and you're trying to move at 20 kilometers an hour into the wind, there's a whole lot of resistance. You gotta think, like, most of the way I was exerting enough force to counteract the wind and propel myself forward, which leads to a whole lot of sweating. But the bike is okay. No flat tires, no nothing. I made it home just fine. I put some things up on the community page that were like, kind of cool. Um, when I went out to the beach last time, uh, I took a picture of the uh, Pass Op Dreifsand sign. Figured, you know, people could actually see what I mean by quicksand. <laughs> and the image next to it, the guy's like, help. So if you want to go check that out, it's in Dutch. So it says Pass Op Dreifsand, and that's just Pass Op is careful. Oh, they blocked that off. I have to go around through the skate park? Fuck. Y'all can tell the Crocus Vacancy is in full swing. And, uh, yeah. And I know, was it yesterday? I even said it after having a whole vlog that it was four yard Vacancy. <laughs> even yesterday I said, well, Herbst Vacancy is in full swing. No, it's not. I was just out of my mind that it was active because Cherry said it once and I said it way too many times that day trying to get confused <laughs> but crocus vacancy I like that better it involves at least a flower versus four yard is just and the first part of the year so another thing I posted up on the uh, community page a separate post was actually a poll about I know you guys like realism and you're like, you know, that I'm willing to open up and not, be, you know, that if I have to cry, I will be sad on YouTube. I will tell you that I'm having personal issues with like my weight or something or that I'm lonely and I'm not. But I realize that sometimes as much as people appreciate folks that are real, especially on YouTube, they don't want to. Well, that's new. Sorry. ADD on my part. Uh, if you guys watched yesterday's video, you'll know I was listening to three audio streams pretty much simultaneously. <laughs> but yeah, so, <laughs> little ADD on my part. Anyways, yeah, I am going to the store, but again, I'm probably not gonna chat about the store and grocery store adventures. It was a really scathing comment or something. I was like, holy shit, <laughs> so sorry I go shopping. Although apparently, I saw my sister's story on Instagram and apparently over in the United States, you guys are still whole ass able to go inside restaurants and eat and sit down and do stuff. And I'm like, well, I guess you need to stay number one in some way, including like, you know, cases and deaths and all that jazz. I was like, come on folks. Hopefully the vacation will be over here. So anyways, like I said, I took a shower and I did like a whole cleansing thing because I was just feeling super gross. But I didn't put any gel in my hair today. <laughs> just like, uh, it's taking, it's at that point where when I'm using more and more gel or clay, I, I need to go get a haircut. But the thing is, is our haircut places don't open for another week. <laughs> and on top of that, I need to make an appointment and their appointments are probably going to be jam-packed full <laughs> for a little while. <laughs> at least the first week because we've been out without hairdressers uh, since December 15th. So people who didn't get them right away before the closing, we all knew it was gonna close and that's why I did mine, but 
it's starting to get to that point. So, but yeah, I'm just pretty much reflecting on yesterday and all the various things. Um, another reason I, you know, I, I super really wanted to go out there is because I read something on a, a, about the local area here, mostly for Amsterdam, but specifically in Oost. They want to put some wind turbines out in the water. Now they want to put a whole 17 around Amsterdam and everyone thinks that those exact 17 are all going to go in the same place. And I'm like, that's probably not true. <laughs> um, but it, it's the perfect, what I call them urban hippies. Um, they're okay striking up a little garden, but they don't really want to share a lot of space. Uh, and they want it over there, unless it looks cute, then they can have it near their place because they're worried way more about their property values, capitalism, than they are actually being green. But they support green measures, but it's about, what is it, NIMBY? <laughs> Not in my backyard or something like that? Yeah, I've been pretty much stretching, lying in bed. Uh, definitely have to stretch when you just like after practice, when you have to, when you wreck your hamstrings like that, sitting in a solid position, having them do a singular motion over and over and over, you, you, yeah, I didn't stretch them yesterday. I mean, I kind of did while I was in the shower, but then you have water running down your back and down your backside, and it's... <laughs> I put up polls and I asked for like comments for stuff and I'm just like, I don't know, some people seem like they're not quite engaged in the poll. To be fair, I mean, I did take heart to the poll that people want to have me stream on YouTube. So I will be doing that pretty much every Saturday night. I don't know if I'm going to have it exactly at a certain time because Aaron's game may run late. And if that's the, and if his game's running late, I don't want to like try to live stream in the middle of this game. Because, even at the end, because there's a lot of talking and wrap up and all that stuff afterwards. So I just, I don't know. But it, usually he tries to wrap up by six. Um, and then we'll probably order away for dinner and he'll, you guys will hear the doorbell thing, intercom system. Yay! I miss taking trains. Corona's got me locked up inside Amsterdam. I know the bulk of you are like, oh yeah, poor you. They're so unsure about their brakes on their nice new bikes, they have to still utilize their feet to come to a screeching halt. How are you coming? Central Station, 1649. Hell, what time are you at now? 1645, okay. There's just not many Pokestops on this whole, on this island. There's not many gyms, at least. There's a lot of poker stocks. Nothing's been... Okay, no, there's a lot of gyms. Just nothing really has a raid right now. So, to give you guys a little bit of a joke, because of the windmill video, for some ungodly reason, my YouTube ads have turned into stuff for the Hrun Lynx. It's the green left. Now, Americans, when I say green left, I don't mean, like, slightly left of Democrats. I mean a whole last hippies. Like, these people consider socialists to be kind of centrist to an extent. <laughs> just saying. So if you think socialism is bad, just wait till you come across like the green left in other countries. Y'all Democrats are, are right wing. Just, you have no idea what's left wing. So the radical left is something most the rest of the world is. Just letting you know. You guys are super capitalistic and super, almost super authoritarian in all things you do. But anyways, so as I told, I have seen way too many ads today for Hrun Links on YouTube because of that video. The guy in the ads, dot, 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 is the leader of the party. He looks like a hipster had hates and Kale had hate sex, you know? And I, I'm told, I said, I finally sat through a whole ad and was like 12 meters squared for a living space. 
No, 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 boy. That's a bed, not an apartment. <laughs> I didn't see that when I came by here last time. I don't know why, probably because I was too busy looking at the camera. They got the pile driver out, apparently. I'm gonna start working on that construction back there. I'm almost the way home. I really, really wanna see what these will turn into. Like, they look ugly now, but, like, th I think, look at that, <laughs> the hair is just not behaving. <laughs> but yeah, like, I've noticed as it gets, as it, in this middle phase, it has like these layers of fins almost. So like, everything will be good and then one will flip over. And so, I need to like figure out where the lines of the, getting a bit ADD. <laughs> But yeah, like, I can see them. <sighs> the art that these are gonna turn into is super interesting. I really wanna see what they turn into. That's what I thought those kids were doing over there when I walked by earlier. I'm like, Yo, are you guys recording TikTok dances? And they're still there recording TikTok dances. <laughs> but yeah. Because they're supposed to have like stuff on top. They're like circular gardens and they're supposed to be, you could be on the top of each of those and there'll be like rooftop terraces for things and maybe shops on the inside. I don't know, but I want them to do it. But first they gotta get the fields done. This whole area right here that's currently with all the construction and the wind that's hitting in the face. Yeah, that's gonna be it's gonna be a giant sport field if you guys have seen me walk out front and you see the the whole sign the thing that's in the water that says a sport felden and the sport held in Bert yeah it's gonna be like two baseball fields here I think a 200 meter track just a straight line and stuff and like it'll be fun because people are like oh yeah well I've got this I got that I don't like yeah I'm gonna have, I'm gonna literally have sport field to practice on right outside my window. <laughs> and I can look down and see if anybody's there. <laughs> I mean, obviously people are gonna be busy because they just love soccer here, but I could take up a small bit of the field for stuff come spring.